Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Ashley and if you are new here, I would love it if you consider subscribing and if you already have, welcome back. And today I have another baby haul. I know I have two already, but this is the last one, I promise. <laughs> um, so let's just get right to it. So I'm going to start off with the biggest item. I'll just add a little clip here, but we finally got our glider. Um, this is not the one that we were thinking of getting, but the one that we wanted was sold out and we had to wait, I think it was six months for it to get back in stock. So I went with this one. It's great. It swivels and rocks. So I love it. I think it's simple, but elegant. It's just the right size for me. And um, yeah, I really like it a lot. So because I started with the largest item, I might as well get this one out of the way. I got a, whoa, too big. <laughs> it's really hard to get this in frame, but we got a change pad for on top of the baby's crib. This one is by Summer Infant and it's simple. I saw a lot of ones that were really expensive um, and I just wasn't willing to pay that much for a little pad. So I got this one, it's simple. Because I had a C-section, it was really hard for me to bend over and change my kids. So in the beginning, I could not change their diapers. My husband and my mom were the one in charge of doing that and I just had to sit back and kind of look at it happen. And I feel like I missed out on that. So this time, just in case I happen to get another C-section, I wanted to be prepared and have like a special place for her where it wouldn't be too much for me to change a diaper. So that's the one that we went with. And because we got a change pad, I actually went ahead and ordered a um, changing pad cover from Little Unicorn. The print is so pretty. My mom actually has um, one of their like quilts and it's to die for. So when I was choosing the print, I wanted something that wouldn't clash because the crib is blue. Um, so I thought that this was beautiful. I also got the crib sheets in the same print. So I think that this is adorable. I think it's classy, beautiful, very girly. I love it. <laughs> but because things get messy, I went ahead and ordered another crib sheet and this one is by Copper Pearl. And it is in a print that I absolutely adore. This is the Bloom print. I have the, I have the nursing cover. I have, I think, a bib. I'm not sure if I have the bib, but I do have the burp cloth, the swaddle, and also the nursing cover. So I got the crib sheets as well. I mean, I might as well. <laughs> it's so pretty. I love this. I am so excited. And this has been one of my favorite baby finds in this pregnancy. I love copper pairs. I love, love, love their products so much. And then next, I actually forgot that during the first weeks, my kids basically lived in little hats. So because I love Copper Pearl, I ordered um, a little purple, like purple hat. They're so cute. They have a little knot and you can adjust them. So soft and so cute. Love them. So I got that one. And also this one. I figured this will go really well with the bloom print and with I have the swaddle in the same color. And I can also use it with a pink one. And then this one can go with either the pink or purple. And my mom ordered me the new June print. So pretty. And the swaddle is actually coming in today. Um, so I can't wait to get that. And I've had these for a while, but I actually forgot to show them in my first haul videos. And these are little bows. I ordered them from an Etsy shop. I forget the name, but I will have it linked below. They're so cute. These are two of them. They're so pretty and the material is really nice and stretchy. Pink one and like a printed one. I think that these would look so cute with the copper pearl swaddles. And my two absolute favorites, like a mustard color and like a deep, um, really deep purple. Oh, it's so pretty, like a plum color. Okay, so moving on. Um, these were from Amazon. I got her the little munch mitt. And this is basically a little mitten that she can chew on. Um, it has a little crunch sound. And the purple part is actually um, food grade silicone. And it's washable and it has its own little travel bag. So if I am out with her, of course, this is further along the way when she actually starts teething. 
um, if I'm out with her and she uses it and it gets all nasty, I can put it in the little bag and put it right back in my diaper bag. So I thought this was really cute. And then this teether I have been dying to order um, and I actually ordered it from Amazon but you can order directly from Ryan Rose also. It's so cute. It's called a cutie teether and it's a teether and rattle. Also made out of silicone beads. Uh, well, not beads, it's like a whole thing, but it's so cute. I think it's adorable. It's easy for the baby to grab onto. So I think that this is a really cute toy. So even though I plan and I'm hoping really to be able to breastfeed full time, I did get bottles because last time I didn't do it. And then last minute, my husband had to go to Babies R Us and get some bottles and it was hectic. So we went with the Komotomo bottles. These worked great for our kids. They are recommended for breast breastfed children. So I'm hoping that they will work. I got the smaller ones in a set of two. So if I am able to breastfeed, that's great. But I also plan on pumping so I can have a little stash of milk just in case of an emergency or anything. Um, and I'm hoping that she will like these as much as her sister and brother did. Okay, and then this is a night light that I got for her. I also plan on taking it with me to the hospital when I am about to have her. Because when I had my kids last time, the nurses would come at every other hour and turn on all the lights and it was really, really annoying. So I plan on having this so that when I have to wake up, at least I won't have to turn on all the lights and it'd be super bright. And I love this. It's like a little egg. Whoops. Everything flew out of the box. <laughs> it's so cute. It's, it looks like an egg and um, you tap it twice and it turns on and then you dim it by pressing firmly and then to turn it off you just tap again. I love it. It's not big. It looks cute. You can charge it and just have it near you. You can move it around. So I love that about this little nightlight. And it also included a whole bunch of stickers so you can make little silly faces on the nightlight, which I thought was pretty unique. And all of this will be linked below because I am really bad with names and I always forget things. Um, so if you see anything you like, it will be linked below. I thought this was so cute. I got this for her car seat and it's by Skip Hop. It's called Silver Lining Cloud Jitter Stroller Toys. And it has these really cute toys. And then if you flip it around, it's like a nighttime cloud. I thought it was adorable. I also got from Skip Hop these little silver lining cloud ball trios. But they are much larger than I had anticipated. Also super cute, something that she can play around with, make noise, and um, have really cute colors. And it's something for her to grab onto and play when she is, you know, a little bit older. So I loved, loved, loved these. And they're so stinking cute. Okay, and now I only have two things left. This I got at Target. It's by Cloud Island. It's a sweater knit blanket. It's pink with white little dots. And then it has kind of like a mint trim. Oh, it's so pretty. And I just loved it so much. I think it's gonna go really well with her um, crib and when we go out because it's not super huge. And I am obviously gonna wash all of these things. It's just super early, so I'm not washing them right now. But yeah, this is so, so cute. I love it. And these I actually saw at Target when I went yesterday, but I actually ordered directly from Little Unicorn. This is a muslin swaddle set. It has three prints. I just thought that they were classy and timeless and um, because I mostly have copper pearl ones now, I thought I should have at least a set just in case it gets super hot in here because we haven't spent summer in this house and don't know how hot it will get. But um, yeah, this is my little unicorn. And that's it for this baby haul. These are all the things that I have for the baby. The next haul that I will film is one that is specifically towards um, me as a pregnant mama or as a postpartum um, kit. So if you're interested in watching that, don't forget to click the subscribe button before you go. And if you already have, I will see you soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.